the broads were entirely man-made, that when they flooded um, in, in the Middle Ages, the, the rivers became the main arterial route. And what happened was that the villages that weren't close to the rivers, they had to dig a channel from the river to the village. Um, but if there was one of these diggings where they dug out for peat in the way, they'd dig in one end and out the other because that saved a hell of a lot of um, moving earth. And that's where the name comes from. So you came down a narrow channel into one of these diggings which was a broad water. So that's where the broads comes from. And the first um, boats that were used were called keels. And they were a pretty much an adaption of the old Viking longship. Now, it's a matter of conjecture as to what happened. Did the keel become and evolve into the wherry that we now know? Or was it a, a, dis a decision to move away from that design to what we have now? And nobody really knows, really, because there's no records of it. Uh, there's no plans or whatever. It coincided with the time that the Dutch were coming here doing a lot of land drainage. So it's a possibility there may have been some kind of cross fertilization of ideas around that time. But what happened um, around the 1700s was that the, the mast moved from the middle and was stepped forwards. And instead of having a square sail, a, a, a gaff rig was introduced with the triangular sail that we have now designed exclusively for the broads. Shallow waters, um, broad boats to carry large loads. Um, the Albion here, she could carry uh, over 40 tonnes. 